Hello, I'm Sai, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Portland. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic port mapping in Amazon Elastic Container Service. Let's get started. Classic load balancer doesn't allow you to run multiple copies of a task on the same instance. And yet, we must statically map port numbers on a container instance. So to assign spare ports automatically and maximize container efficiency on a container instance, we can use dynamic port mapping with an application load balancer or a network load balancer in Amazon ECS. Dynamic port mapping with an application load balancer or a network load balancer allows you to have multiple tasks from a single service on the same container instance. Let's go over the details in setting up dynamic port mapping with an application load balancer in Amazon ECS for this video exercise. In the ECS console, set the host port to zero for your task definition that you are creating or updating. Here, be sure to set the container port mappings for your application. Note that the host and AWS VPC network modes don't support dynamic port mapping. Now, configure your service to use the application load balancer that you already created in the step two. Configure network page of the create service console page. Note that you can add a load balancer only during the creation of the service. After the service is created, you can't change the target group's Amazon resource name or ARN, the container name or the container port specified in the service definition. Make sure that the traffic port is selected to route health check traffic correctly when you create a target group. Now, in the Amazon EC2 console, choose target groups from the navigation pane, then choose the hyperlink name for your target group. From the targets tab, you can see what port is used for the task in the service that you created. And now you know how to set up dynamic port mapping in Amazon ECS. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.